Now we are learning about out of specification. Also called OOS. References Guidance for Industry, Investigating Out of Specification, Test Results for Pharmaceutical Production, from US FDA. Guidance on, Out of Specification Investigations, from MHRA. What is Out of Specification? The result that does not meet the pre-established specification of test product shall be called as out of specification. It means that any laboratory results, including individual reported data points or when duplicates are generated, that fall outside of the specification range or acceptance criteria given in the specification. To make you understand easily, please find the example. Example, a say purity should be within 98% to 103% as per the standard method, or, the customer specified method. Obtained results are 97.9% and 103.1%. Both obtained results, 97.9% and 103.1%. Even though there is only 0.1% variation in results, but both results are found to be out of specification limit. An investigation shall be conducted whenever an OOS test result is identified to determine the root cause. An investigation should be based on documented, unbiased, and scientifically sound principles. Other products that may be potentially affected must also be considered in the evaluation. Investigation should be done by the technically competent and independent person to find out the root cause for OOS, and also impact assessment should be done to identify the potential effect on other products. This is the pictorial representation of complete investigational process for out-of-specification. Upon identification of out-of-specification results, laboratory should perform the Phase 1A investigation. If there is no root cause identified in Phase 1A investigation, laboratory should perform the Phase 1B investigation. Phase 1A, Phase 1B investigation will be performed at laboratory end. Even in Phase 1B investigation, root cause not identified, Phase 2 investigation should be initiated in manufacturing unit. Upon Phase 2 investigation, Phase 3, investigation should be done to conclude the out-of-specification results. As detailed in previous slide, out-of-specification investigation will be done in three phases. Phase 1A should be done to finding out the obvious error and Phase 1B is the hypothesis testing, or, confirmation testing. To find out the root cause for out of specification results. Both Phase 1A and Phase 1B will be performed at laboratory. Phase 2, investigation will be performed at manufacturing unit to find out the manufacturing error result of the out of specification results. Phase 3 investigation will be done by reviewing both laboratory investigation records and manufacturing investigation records. Phase 1A investigation to find out the obvious error will be done by review of all the details such as Review of analyst and test method details Review of test method used, problems or deviations occurred Analyst training, competency, and appropriate knowledge of technique or method used for testing Comparison of method performance against typical performance, such as spike recovery, or validation data. Review of standards, chemicals, reagents, and solvents used in the testing, such as expiration dates, standard preparation, and correct weights documentation. Preparation of reagents and solutions include visual examination. Quality of water used for analysis. 
Review of glassware, filters used for testing. Correct glassware and filters used. Correct volumetric flasks, pipettes, and burettes. Labeling of glassware used for analysis. Are they used correct solution? Review of documentation and raw data details such as raw data discrepancies and data transcription. Review of calculation errors, if any. System suitability results and its acceptance criteria. Review of equipment, instrumentation used for testing, and environment conditions during the testing activities. Correct instrumentation, equipment, and accessories used. Instrument calibration or performance qualifications are within validity. Appropriate operating parameters or setting as per test method. Any mechanical or electrical failures during the testing. Environmental conditions such as temperature and humidity, any other conditions within acceptance limit during testing. Review of chromatograms and spectra review includes programmed method and sample set. Baseline noise and consistency throughout the sequence. Review of performance characteristics such as resolution, efficiency, system suitability. Review of interferences, chromatographic anomalies, and extra peaks. Review of sample identification, handling and storage conditions. Review of sampling records, procedural deviations. Any other data review for additional information about root cause. Based on review of data in Phase 1A, did the Phase 1A investigation reveal a determinate cause for the OOS results? If yes, laboratory investigation should be concluded. Lab has to invalidate the original results. Reanalyze the original sample at the same level of replication. Or, reanalyze the original sample preparations. If the Phase 1A investigation not revealing the determinate cause for the OOS results, Proceed with Phase 1B Investigation. Phase 1B Investigation will be done to find out the assignable cause. Phase 1B Investigation will be done by analyst and supervisor of the laboratory. Laboratory supervisor should review the test data using predefined checklist. And, perform the confirmation, or, hypothesis test, based on probable root cause. If hypothesis, or, confirmation test confirm the original result, report all the results or proceed with retest. Stopwatch equals 1000. If no root cause identified in Phase 1b, proceed with Phase 2 investigation. Phase 1b investigation will be done using predefined the checklist with different investigation tools, example. 5M investigation tool. Those are man, machine, method, material, and mother nature. Man includes a review of training record, competency, analyst qualification, etc. The machine includes a review of calibration, maintenance, and equipment setting as per method. Methods include a review of method validation, or, method verification, analysis data, calculations, etc. Material includes, a review of chemicals, consumables, standards, filters, columns, their expiration, preparation data, storage data, etc. Mother Nature, includes, environmental conditions, such as suitable temperature, humidity, lighting, etc. Phase 1B investigation also includes hypothesis testing or confirmation testing. Based on a review of the data and information obtained in the initial investigation, identify the most probable cause. It means the most doubtful cause on which the investigator believes that a particular cause may be the reason for out-of-spec results. Based upon identified most probable cause hypothesis, testing should be done.
Perform the retesting with the same sample preparation or prepare a new sample from the original sample to confirm the cause of OOS. If assignable cause is sampling error, resampling can be done with proper justification. If assignable cause is human error, an appropriate kappa should be implemented to avoid the recurrence of the same. If the root cause of the OOS result is not identified in Phase 1A investigation and Phase 1B investigation, Phase 2 investigation should be initiated. Phase 2 of the investigation should be done at the manufacturing facility. An investigation should be performed with cross-functional teams of manufacturing facility. Cross-functional teams such as Production Department, Quality Control Department, Warehouse Department, Research and Development Department, Engineering Department, etc. An investigation includes review of training of personnel involved in the manufacturing, any deviations or incidents from the approved batch manufacturing process, quantity and quality of input raw materials, review of batch manufacturing records, review of sampling record, any failure in process equipment during manufacturing. Review of Any failure in utilities system Verify if there is any kind of delay in manufacturing Check if there are any deviations in the environmental conditions Trend data of the in-process data Interaction with operator for any abnormality observed during process Any historical data available for the OOT result Phase 2 investigation may give any of the below outcome. 1. Root cause may be laboratory error. Upon identification of the root cause, perform the retest if the results are fine. Implement the kappa and close the OOS. 2. Root cause may be a manufacturing error. Upon identification of the root cause, reject the batch and close the OOS. 3. If no root cause is identified in the Phase 2 investigation, Proceed with the Phase 3 investigation. Phase 3 investigation will be done when 1. Batch is rejected. 2. When no root cause identified in the Phase 1 and Phase 2 investigation. Phase 3 investigation will be done to determine if other batches or products are affected. Identification effect on other batches, or, lots and implementation of appropriate kappa to avoid the recurrence. Phase 3 investigation will be done to determine the batch quality, batch rejection, and disposition. Impact assessment on other batches, or, lots due to this batch rejection, or, identified root cause. Appropriate kappa will be implemented. To conclude the investigation, all the results must be evaluated by review of completed manufacturing investigation and combined laboratory investigation method validation data for possible causes into the results obtained. As per the MHRA guidelines, once the batch is rejected, further testing can be done to finding root cause. But once the batch rejection decision is taken, it cannot be reversed as a result of further testing. Impact of OOS result on other batches, ongoing stability studies, validated processes, and testing procedures should be determined by QC, QA, should be documented in the conclusion, along with appropriate kappa. Hope you enjoyed the learning about, out of specification, as per US FDA guidelines and MHRA guidelines. Please let us know in comments if you are interested in learning any other topics. If you like our channel, please like, subscribe and click on bell icon for regular updates of our videos. Help others in learning the by sharing our videos. Thank you. Happy learning!